Well, it's not looking good for me. Uh, all the way down here with the 3389, and I was pushing it hard. Somehow my dad's up here with a 770, so we got our work cut out for us. 150 laps, and uh, got to just come up with something. We can go about 50 laps on fuel. <clears throat> so I think that two-stopper, if it does go green, will be the way to go. Uh, pit entry, very difficult here. But we'll see what we can do in qualifying and see who <clears throat> is able to back up their speeds out on track alone and who slows down and speeds up. Hopefully we can get around a top 10 finish for qualifying, but uh, it's all going to be dependent on how much I make the wheels spin off the corner. Luckily, it looks like they've gotten rid of the overly shiny seams, so I thought I had seen something in the patch notes about that this build. And it is, uh, seems to be gone, but we'll see, because it's the first time I've been on track with the sun out. Yep, it's gone. Overdrive and entry, get a little heat in the tires, get a bit straighter run off the high side, all that, that, nope, nope, nope. Nope, 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 stop before the line. X's don't matter. Let's try that again. Did he... Is it reset? Nope, it's just uh, dusty and uh, messy up in the marbles there. Off to a great start. Stay down here a little bit further. Oh my god, why is it so loose all of a sudden? The sun came out for practice and there we go, we got a cloud coming into turn one. Ease it around, we definitely did not go quick through the center there, but I just want to get a lap in. driving it somehow. Let's keep it straight off the corner, get a good exit. Try to carry a little more speed through the center. One and two. Oh my god, this thing is not turning today. I'm just overdriving it like crazy. Well, to the back we go. Just overdriving it, trying to get too much out of it. That was horrible. That's gonna be like 18th place ticket flag, ticket flag. if we have that many cars. Not good at all. Ah. <sighs> Let's go ahead and just back this up. Just feel like it's going to get tight. Yep, pretty terrible. Well, we beat my dad, so that's good, unless that's his first lap and he's got a second lap coming. But we did not improve. Looks like many people did not improve, so... Gavin has yet to do a lap. We're the only ones racking up incidents. Nope, couple others as well. Gavin is not qualifying. Hmm. Did he hit the wall both times? He did two laps, so I think he hit the wall both times. Okay, maybe... Maybe he zero x himself, and uh, that'll be helpful for us. Mitch 
way out front, but is he going to be able to keep the tires on it? We got Tyler just in front of us right now on the grid. Dan to our inside or outside the next row, depending on, yeah, we're 14th. He's to our inside right now. And 30 seconds till we go to the race. Well, I guess we got a three minute warm up to figure out where our pit stall is and do a couple of practice pit stops. But uh, it should have been a little higher, but even if we had hit a 899, that only would have moved us up four spots. So, not a big deal. few people kind of flipped around from where they should be. Chad gets a good lap in there. He just goes a 3-9. There we are, 14th. We've got everyone in here, so we're going to have 27 cars. Let's head out and test the brake bias back this far. Save us some time, get some laps in. They're showing us the black flag. You didn't exit the pit safely. They're gonna hold you for a while. These guys are setting up to try to set fast lap and warm up. Fast guys, always trying to be fastest. I just want to make sure this thing isn't going to spin out on me because I didn't even think about brake bias in practice. and I'm slower. But we're not going to worry about that. Let's do a practice pit stop. Outside. Clear outside. Yep. Alright, we're good. We're good. We're good. I wonder if that's still an unsafe entry. So much... Like, the grass is so grippy now that that's not as scary. Maybe we have too many penalties to find out. All right, well, cool. Grass is not as scary anymore. Right here. Let's make sure I've got everything set up right. Not had a whole lot of time. Only video coming out today. Might get an F1 video made later while this is uploading. But, yeah, 150 laps. 30 seconds till we grid up. And I hope it's a clean race. The truck race was not a clean race, sadly. But uh, that also involved one person running over multiple people multiple times. So hopefully uh, this is a little bit cleaner. This series has been a little bit cleaner just because the cars are able to get spread out. And... Um, just get more space between them at every track we go to, unlike the trucks. But, that is the end of warm-up. It's time for the race. Get switched over. We've still got sun. It's track temp's 117. Time is on two times, just because we're doing half-distance races, and, uh, Goal is to stay ahead of the 67. It's still the 67, right? Yep. One left to green. Line up on the outside. Closed. Pit road is closed. You have four additional sets of tires for this race. Be smooth Remember that and I have set a good the run. buttons down here.
Alright, so turn one's gonna be a little scary. The exits of every corner are gonna be scary. Just because once you get race brain going, you're gonna stomp a little harder, and this actually has enough power to very quickly spin them up. But we got a good group of people in this league, and uh, hopefully, get ready. Going green. hopefully we'll have a long green run but with a few yellows to make strategy come into play. Single file restarts after we get going green, so don't want to be too far back later in the race. Post car is off, time to do your job. It up. We got someone diving it up three okay, wide there on the back behind us, it looked like. Thankfully, everyone survives, and nope. Instantly under yellow. So we'll save a bit of fuel here. It's not going to get us to 75, obviously, but we'll just do what we can to uh, save some fuel. It doesn't look like it was a big wreck, so maybe just a single self-spin out of the corner. Let's see what the tire marks say. See nothing. Got to go all the way around and catch the pace car. Hauling. All right, two to green. We'll be restarting 13th, single file this time. Road is closed. Get back to racing, maybe. Single file restart though is gonna kinda spread things out very quickly here. There will be a couple of dives into the corner on the restart, but most people are gonna be pretty far back in three and four. And are gonna have to ease onto the gas. We should be on the straightaway when we get the green. But yeah, Gavin, unfortunately, is going to be starting on the 24th row here. 22.743. Because he didn't have any time to make up any of those spots before the first caution. Focused. 
pace car at least doesn't pull in on the back stretch, so that will keep everyone kind of paced at the same speed. It feels like we're flying around here though at 60. I don't want to speed up because the pace car is off. Be ready. I don't want to cause a issue. Green flag. Green flag. Third gear start. Worked out okay. Just going to ease it in here. Gavin might have been caught up in that. So we have not done a lap yet, sadly. I don't understand how they wrecked there in the three, but I guess someone probably just ran into the back of someone who was slowing down for the corner. Not off to a great start. A whole lot of skid marks there. So maybe we can make it to lap 75 at this pace. We just never run a lap. Frank is off. Who's all in the pits? Oh boy. Everybody. Everybody at the back is in the pits. Maybe getting fuel, but maybe getting damage fixed. Gavin is one of them. He did not have a good truck race here when he got ran over. And it looks like he is getting lots of damage fixed as he is still in the pits. Unfortunate, especially not even getting a full lap of racing in. Looks like he's rolling back out. One left to green. Well, are we going to get a lap of racing in before we get to lap 10? That is the question now. I could be saving more fuel, but I'm bored at this point right now, so we're still at 17 gallons. Get ready, going green. <clears throat> 40 in here, so I'm just going to bring us up slowly and not try to catch up immediately. Because we don't need a wreck to happen okay, off of that. Time to do your job. Green flag, green flag.
Are we going to get a whole lap in? The front of the field is. Is the entire field. Ease it off the corner there. No need to try to get on it too hard. Getting a little loose off of four on throttle. Perfectly fine with my 34s here. Goal is to not burn the tires up. Once people start burning up their rears, they're going to have no acceleration. Don't drive it into the wall on exit. So saying we can go to about lap 56 if it goes green now. And that's probably what we'll aim for. Let's go as long as we can. Just to get ourselves offset a bit. in there, going in a deeper than I wanted to. likely we'll come in at 53 just to give ourselves a window in case the yellow comes out before we can get to pit road and we can make it back to pit road with enough fuel so you wait too long and the yellow comes out you can't enter the pits and you'll run out of fuel so don't want to do that to ourselves, but looks like, well, maybe. I'm guessing someone is gonna spin it off the corner. It's getting harder and harder to get off the corner. Tried pinching it down a little bit lower there. Did not like how that felt. This thing has way too much power, so we need to not pinch the corner in one and two. with his trademark blinking up ahead. Going 
doing fine though. The car is not handling anything different than I would expect. I don't like that higher line in three and four. It may be helping us off the corner, but I don't like how it feels. Really not making up any ground at all. I don't know if shifting's possible. It might be later, but I'm not gonna do it. Because lighting up these rears is not going to be helpful in any way. I think around 6,000 RPM is where the shifting can begin. So you might be able to shift down here and get a better drive off the corner, but you're just going to be spinning the tires up. That one just got loose off the corner behind us, I think. catching these guys but making a pass here is extremely difficult especially if we're slower off the corner than everyone Tyler though just makes a pass on Nick there can he hold on to it Nick's gonna try to cross back over Check up there by everyone. Tried to sneak the nose in there. Just had to back out of it. Probably overdriving one right now. That gets a little loose off the corner. Misses the corner that time, so we're just gonna be able to get to the inside. Hopefully we can get the drive we need. Be on the bottom here. It's going to make our exit very difficult. Okay, that is 12th place now. We can go 30 laps from here. already fallen off a second, 1.25 seconds. So there's going to be a lot of time to be made up, but we've really not even got into the run, so I think going long is going to be the best strategy just because fall off should probably hit a 
plateau. Someone who has spun or had some issue. One of the top guys. And then Dakota misses the corner up ahead of Tyler. So we're getting ready for a yellow. Starting to lose the grip. Oh boy. Outside. Clear outside if you want to. And that is probably how the wreck happened on the second yellow. I nearly ran into him. Everyone's got slightly different braking areas and very easy to just plow into the back of someone. Alright, so 11th place. Ball off has pretty much stopped. Once again, 1.25. So, I think at this point we'll maybe drop to one and a half seconds off by the end of the run, but not much further. The car Definitely a bit of difference in grip off the corner there. He just lifts off and lets us have it so that we're not fighting into one. Probably surprised him a little bit there. There was barely a gap to go through, but... I didn't expect him to turn left at that point because we were on the gas heading up towards the wall. Tyler blinks when we get to him, just as long as he doesn't fall off or fall out. We just had a bad exit there. Gotta not slam on the gas. The rears are starting to complain a bit. At least we are having green flag race running now because I was a little worried how this was going to go. Got a big push in the center there. That was not good for us. Dakota overdrives entry. Tyler can't quite get there, pinching him a bit there, trying to hold him off. Really not necessary at that point. To keep it clean, just slows them both down, back to me. Doing a weird, weird line through three and four compared to everyone else, but it is working for me. Got 
Got a battle up front, it looks like. Or they're into lap traffic. Kind of drive it into the center of the corner and then lift off again. But we're not catching these guys. We're falling to 1.6 now. Who's going to be the first to flinch? You really can't go in before 50. Since you can only just barely make it to 50. Not giving up on that spot, which is only going to let us catch up. Tyler says, screw it, I'll let you try to get around him. I think they're both quicker than us, but slowing each other down. So don't drive it into the turn two wall. I've done that one too many times trying to keep the car straight and then I just drive straight into the wall. Dakota's about to burn up his stuff. One too many slides. center of the corner. Bad exit. Tyler's got to run on us now. Really overdrive one, but luckily still able to get it slowed down and gain a bit there. Tyler gets a little loose on exit. Ten more to go. Pitting will start. We got 15 laps left. But we'll get that extra couple of laps because of the yellow just to make it easier for us to make it the other two runs if we do go a full fuel run. We overdrive the corner massively and then get it loose in the center. haven't moved the brakes. I don't feel like we need it looser on entry. We've gained a lot of time though on these guys ahead of us. Very surprised by that. People are gaining on us behind it. Looks like there's some people about six cars back that are closer than I remember seeing.
This is going to be a long race. Nearly drove it into the wall, trying to not turn too much. Amazingly though, pulling away from Tyler, I thought he was going to challenge us pretty hard since he was looking quicker than us, but really, I don't need to try to get past Dakota unless they start having issues. We just need to get to lap 53 and then pit. Everyone else will be pitting at lap 50 trying to gain a bit which will gain about six seconds maybe I don't know maybe that isn't wise to give up six seconds with it being as tough as it is to pass but I also think fuel is not gonna be quite as easy as doing 50 50, so I'd rather have a bit extra. see what happens. I mean, we're kind of stuck in this boring, can't move gap, so if we're not in that when we come out from the pits, it'll at least make it a bit more exciting for us. Tyler coming back up. Dakota's gonna get loose off the corner here. Nope. We are. I've tried to get the nose in there. Figured with that turn down it was gonna heat up the right rear. All right, probably we'll see a couple of people jump in here. Mitch has fallen off. Outside. Stay low. There is a car on the right side. Just take away that line and make the pass rather than screwing around for too long side by side at the end of the run. A little mean, but just seeing as he didn't give it up for Tyler, I had to make it a little forceful just so that we didn't waste a bunch of time there. Mitch in at 50. He's going to have to change up his driving a bit because he dropped off. Everyone else staying out a little longer, so that's good news for us. We got lap traffic here. think anyone wants to go try to pit. Smoke on the back stretch. 
someone has somehow hit the backstretch wall, it looks like, the uh, opening. Alright, we're on 53. We can go one more lap. We got enough fuel to be able to make it around for a caution. We'll lose a little bit of time. Dakota will be well ahead of us this time, but. If a yellow does come out. Just gotta hope, hope these guys don't screw up pit entry and cost us time. Everyone headed in now. Well, not these guys. The lead is pitting now. 45 miles an hour. Could have went a little harder, but safe. Pit box in ten. Make sure we got everything set. We do. Five, three, two, one. Right here. There we go. First run done. Seventy seventy seven. Left rear ninety two. We don't really lose a whole lot of time that I thought we were going to, so that's good news. Come out right behind Dakota, very surprised by that. Looks like my dad got a penalty. He was on pit road. Alright, so we just settle in, bring the tires up. Don't abuse them too much here. Very surprised though by that uh, time loss. I thought Dakota would be out like six seconds ahead of us, but apparently not. Gonna take our time, not abuse our tires early. We've seen a lot of the front runners falling off pretty hard at the end. Try to get ahead of Dakota now.
the bottom while we have a bit of grip. And we're gonna have to do the slide up and take away the line. We don't sit here and waste too much time. All right, eighth place. Lucien showed us that you can make a pass on fresh tires down low, so that got us around. Looks like my dad is off. He's on pit road still. Hopefully we can make some ground up, pull away from Dakota while everyone is trying to get around him. And then that will uh, just give us a nice little gap to work in. I feel like we're abusing the tires or doing anything bad to them. We can go 42 laps from here, so that'll get us to 102. Mitch might be in trouble on fuel. I mean, I know he can save and... But... Hitting on 50 might have uh, locked him into a very tough box on fuel. But a caution could save him. And he needed to get those tires off. Mistakes. Try to keep pulling away while they're stuck behind Dakota. We're one and a half seconds now. Tyler might come at us late in the run just because he's kind of saving tires back there. So he's got nowhere to go. be able to make it 50 laps easy on fuel, but we'll still go a little bit longer because it didn't hurt us at all. People might have just been a little slow on entry and exit out of the pits first time, so it might hurt us later, but 
I don't know if we're going to get to that point or not. They're checking out in front of us, but we knew that was going to happen. Don't get loose on exit. That is key. 1.8 back. Not even the halfway yet. Crazy long race. wide back behind us. I don't know if someone got loose. Looks like Tyler was getting around Shane. A little cloud cover. Up to 2.7 over the guys behind. And now we're just in our own boring little pocket. Until Tyler gets around Dakota and then chases us down. out a new line, I guess. It'll start losing focus because this is just nothing going on around us. 2.8 behind still. Seven behind and Chuck is all of a sudden involved back there. He pit on lap 57. So he went as long as he could. coming back out. That's what I need. I need people to be getting loose and uh, burning up their tires. Just starting to clip that apron on exit, and I'm hoping that doesn't punish me later with a big loose moment.
still 2.9 behind, so we're not really pulling out a gap anymore. Haven't really been able to do much, but they're going to battle for a bit when Chuck tries to make a pass, so that should slow him down a bit more, and I need to just take it easier through uh, three and four. Chuck has not cleared them. They're side by side off the corner still, so that's losing them time. That is why I had to be aggressive and just force the move. Looks like Chuck has finally got around him. Tyler's trying to follow through. Chuck will chase us down very quick. Tyler was not able to get around him. But when Chuck gets here, we'll just let him go because he's on way fresher tires and it's way quicker to begin with. No need for us to lose some time, especially when it'll be about time to pit again. Make sure this thing fills us all the way up. Chuck to 2.7. Tyler has got around. He's at 3.1. They'll both be catching us. Seven and 2.9, so as I thought, they're both catching us. Dakota four seconds back now. Hopefully if the uh, same time difference happens on pit stops, we won't have to pass them again. It's like Mitch got very loose up ahead. That's Mitch. I don't know if anyone else has an orange car and we get a yellow. That is Mitch. He had something bad happen. Well, that changes things up. Top off, get tires, and figure out what we're going to do strategy wise. Pit box in 
five, three, the two, Chuck's been behind us one. this whole time. Right here. All right, tires coming off, 85, 89. It's probably better that we got check past us. All right, save some fuel. A couple of cautions here early, and we can maybe make it, so. Do what we can. So we are in 8th place or ninth place, don't know if there was anyone on pit road pitting before we got there to the line. We've got a lot of fuel that we would have to save right now, but saving it right now is going to be key if we get another caution. Because you don't want to give up track position. Because if there is a caution in the middle of this, then you're just stuck behind a bunch of people. About two and a half gallons short at the moment. Probably a little more. But another caution to get us to like lap 93. And then we're at that like 57 lap mark where we nearly were at the start run. Chuck made it to 57, but I don't know if he pit in one of those yellows. Get ready, going green. Tracy's got the lead. Really early. That gets us a nice gap. Just ease it into one and not risk running anyone over. could try something if we want to uh, really just go for the win, but if a caution comes out, we're screwed. We might do it. We 
might just try a right sides only splash of fuel in 10 laps. Get us to the end, short pit, and hopefully uh, go green the rest of the way. Because there might be people doing fuel only, or four tires. one option that we've got if we want to try something crazy, which I think we will because right now we're just stuck here in the same hole that we've been stuck in for the entire race. Which isn't bad, but it's just kind of the bad thing about league racing is we've kind of been in this spot the entire season. Tyler got a massive run out of four there. But will we go green? That's the big question. Get everything set up for this. It's looking like we're not going to go green from the front runners. They are aggressively coming off the corners. This allows us to take two tires because the left sides are not going to be worn all that much. Which allows us to shorten up the pit stop because you only need five gallons of fuel. Yeah, we're not going to be gaining a whole lot on everyone else on fresher tires, but... Um, we're not gaining anything right now, so try something. sides as much as I can, which is why it's looking like we're slightly quicker, although they're screwing up quite a bit in front of us right now. But I'm hoping this puts us out in clean track as well, so that we don't get held up by anything while everyone else is holding each other up racing.
right on the edge, but we were going to start getting held up there, so might as well come in. Be different. Pit box team, 10. Five. Three. Two. One. Right here. Let's just hope this thing doesn't spin out on us. Move it, move it. I'm going to just slot in right where we were, essentially. Car outside. Keep low. Clear outside. Outside. Keep low. So it drives nice. Clear outside. Maybe we can get ahead of a couple of these guys. Have to be easy off the corner. Feel it out out of the. Oh, yeah, we're quick in the center. Fresh rights. Got to be careful on exit, but we should be able to clear them pretty easy in the middle of the corner right now. Maybe even get ourselves back on the lead lap. Just so we don't have to use a lucky dog if the yellow comes out. See where this cycles out. Hopefully it goes green so we can find out. It is turning much more though with these two rights, or the right sides only. We're gonna have to be very careful about that, but maybe move the brakes back forward a bit. But we're gaining time. Gavin's in the pits. He's looking for the same thing. Try to leapfrog some of the people. Probably even out with these guys before we even get to their bumper. Shane's in. I've drawn a lot of people in, it looks like. Maybe. Hit him, but still get the run off the corner with our fresher tires. Ah, fuck it. Damn it. Well, that screws us. Now we're all the way back in 16th. Oh well, race over. But worth a try, I guess. And now we gotta start behind all of the freaking lap cars and not gonna have a set of tires left, and so we just get absolutely screwed by that.
Which sucks. Oh well, we tried something. Now we just gotta try to get back to 8th. Is it Gavin who wrecked? Now we gotta come in and take four, or we can just stay out and, like, because everyone else has an extra set right now, so I guess we just stay out. We'll come in and get a little bit of fuel. No, we don't even need a little bit of fuel, but we'll just uh, stay out, save a set, instead of trying to fight our way up through. Just trying to fight our way up through the field is not going to work. We're better off saving a set right now because if we fight our way up through the field and then there's another yellow and everyone pits, they've got a set of tires. I think I'll come in and I'll put left sides on. I think that's what we'll do. Just get it evened out a bit for us, because it was getting very loose. Go. We gotta go back behind everyone anyways, so we'll just wait here. And attempt to just not get involved in anything back here. It looks like Gavin was the one that wrecked. wonder if he just got loose and nosed it in or what. We'll blame him. One to go, next time by. Because you're the lucky dog, you'll be held at the end of the longest line. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna need a caution with about 20 to go. I don't even know if that's gonna give us enough time to do anything, so. But sadly, we can't be on the same tires as everyone right now, and I mean, we can try to work our way up, but Right now we have so many lap cars ahead. Shane is getting the wave around after hitting as well. Reset our brakes to zero and try to make up some ground here. But we're gonna be miles behind. See what it feels like with fresh lefts. Clear high. Yeah, we're not going to pass 
almost anyone that's on the lead lap. It is definitely tighter. Yeah, we are just dead slow right now. This is the bad thing about it, is we uh, are going to have a very hard time ever making a pass, but we are just dog shit slow at the moment. I guess let's just back it down, save our tires. If it does go green the whole way, hope that five people burn up their shit so that we can get a top ten at least. Not that it matters. We're not running for points, which is why we tried the strategy that we did. Backing it down though will help us later, so. It's just we've got like many passes before we even start passing for position. Thankfully he lifted off there. Get an easy pass. Allen in the 94 is the next person for position. Three and a half seconds up. We're gonna have to let Shane go. Just because he's on slightly fresher tires than us. Let him pull away. And uh, I don't think either of us are going to catch the cars in front.
And we need a caution right now would be good. It's not going to do us any good unless we just stay out, but that'll be deadly. And definitely not worth it. It would only be worth it if we had a chance to win and we'd be fourth place by mid corner in one and two with the difference in speed through the center. Especially since we'd be two seconds off pace by then, so. of low fuel and left sides has made it very unstable. But looks like we're going to get 16th. Gavin's back out on track. Completely missing the corner. I think he's had a very good time. 
pretty sure he was in the first wreck, and he was definitely in a second wreck. I don't think he has straightaway speed, because he's blew through the corner there. All right, 29 to go, or no, 19 to go. Chad, 3.4 seconds ahead. Back the brakes up. Go attack Shane and get up to Chad. Two point seven to Chad, he's falling off hard. get around Chad and then get a yellow or have Chad be the yellow. I'm not sure if he's going to be trying to go into the pits or not. He's not. He got trapped up there. Alright, now if we can get a yellow. Come in and get tires and try to get a few more spots. Yellow flag. We're going to need a couple of laps to do something with the tires. So it can't come out too late. It's got to be in the next four laps. Catching them pretty quick, so we might be able to get a couple of spots if it does go green the whole way. No, we're not. Not quick enough. Side by side, I think, which slowed him down for a moment. Four 
4.3 seconds. That's just been staying the same this whole time, so not going to work out for us. Looks like 13th if it goes green, and maybe 10th or 12th if we get a yellow. just instantly leveled off with everyone on speed now that we've pushed it a bit. We had like five laps there where we were okay and quicker. Yep, there we go. Alrighty. It's going to be a very short, short, short run to the end. And looks like Andrew and Colton in that one. Maybe we got a couple of free spots if they have damage. Four tires, no fuel. And, uh... I hope we'll get a couple of laps here at the end. Two tires isn't an option here. Not with how loose it was already after just a few laps on the left sides. They're backing up on track there, giving everyone a penalty. That's not good. I hope no one got a penalty. One eighty-five, ninety-eight, ninety-seven, but yeah, two tires just not gonna have the grip. Okay, go. Try to get out of our soul a little quicker than Dan. He might have sped. You are out of time. They want you in single file. He does not speed. Andrew's got a ton of damage. Colton's behind us now. Going to be a very aggressive start. And probably another yellow. Hopefully not caused by me. got John who stayed out, Chuck who took two, so the front of the pack is going to get just smashed up into turn one. But that's why we didn't take tires on that last one, so we had a set for something like this. Somehow my dad's 14 laps down. Gavin's 19 laps down. Let's see what the hell they all did after. After we get done wrecking here. <laughs> so, aggressive down low into turn one. We know new tires stick down there. 
to put the brakes not as far back as we had them with left sides only. One left to green. Front of the field is going to have a hard time going on this start too, so it might be an early roll-up start. And then who knows what Andrew's car is going to do. We could be up in like fifth place right now, but oh well, it doesn't matter. About to go green, stay focused. Checking up. And then when we go to the high side, we gotta go further, so we gotta go faster. Can't see the leader. There we go. Just got him in sight, he's going. Dan hits the wall and we get a black flag. I'm going to ask for it to be cleared, but don't know if I'll get it. There's nothing we can do there unless I just wanted to slam on the brakes. Thank you. got back into the top 10. <laughs> Tyler gets fifth. Good job to him. He did the smart thing, but we had to try something. We were just stuck there. There was no guarantee of the front of the pack wrecking themselves out over and over and over. So we beat Colton. I mean, he had to spin for us to do that, but we passed him on track as well as a lap car. But again. I am looking for entertaining strategies in this series, trying to get wins, not points, so we haven't ran all the races. So wanted to try something. I saw an opportunity for us to do something different, and sadly, I think Gavin screwed it all up for us. We'll see if it was Gavin's fault. Left up, Chuck's going to get the win on two tires. If he did two tires, I'm pretty sure he did. So, that was the call. He didn't have to get too far. A couple of laps, but still it had to have not been very fun to drive if he was on two. He might have worked his way up there. I don't know. John with his no tires finishes fourth, so Tyler almost got fourth place. Watch flag, watch flag. <laughs> and another race ended under yellow. Close, 
closed, mid road is closed. <laughs> Oh well, we didn't wreck, we didn't get a 0x, might have got a 0x, but we didn't get any uh, 2x's or 1x's or anything, so, felt like we made some decent passes on a very hard track to pass, and tried something, and it didn't work, it probably wasn't going to work anyways, but have to try something when the race is just stagnant and it doesn't look like we're going to gain anything else. There we go, 150 laps, hour and 53 minute video. It's a long one, we still got the wrecks to go through. Good job to Tyler. Let's go see what all happened out there. Just gets dumped on lap one there. He had a little bobble, but yeah, just gets hit and just a spin there. No one gets damage. And Frank just gets destroyed. And Gavin, nowhere to go in that. Yeah, Gavin did not see that in time and just came in and then just gets drilled. So he had a lot of front-end damage to begin with. Is he going to have a flappy hood that ruins everything? Alright, so we go a long ways. Colton's trying to wreck. And then we do pit stops. And then... We get a yellow here. Yeah, Mitch just spins out. I don't know why he gunned it there, but. That causes a yellow. Under yellow, or we're racing. No, and John into the wall. This is Gavin after his pit stop, and he loses it, overcorrects into the wall, and that is what ruined our strategy. So we were right there behind Tracy, getting ready to get back on the lead lap at least. And, uh, yeah, so we get to blame Gavin for that. That is 106. I don't think there was a quick caution after this was there. Mitch in the wall. This is Chad. Colton gets loose, Andrew nowhere to go, and that is what brought that out. And then at the back, 23 loses it, and uh, that is what ends the race. So, 
let's go see what happened to my dad, because I don't know what the hell he did. It's getting loose. Oh, what the hell? How did he do that? He's just spinning up the tires, and he was the... He was the tire marks that we saw there, so that's why he heads into the pits. And that's how he goes the laps down. So, all right. Well, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Tried something. It failed. But uh, I had fun. So, thanks for watching.